Hi everyone, it's Russell Lowe speaking, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create some uh, 3D shapes using lofts, and uh, uh, this is cut out using a shell function. Now, uh, we've been doing 2.5D, and uh, that's because uh, they're very useful in the world. Most of the world is, in fact, 2.5D, uh, but this is where it gets exciting, where we can actually create fully uh, three-dimensional curving surfaces and... Uh, and let our imagination go a little bit more wild. Um, this is a, a sample uh, that I've made using uh, something that's personal to me, and you'll be using something personal to you, your initials. So uh, you might be able to see a stylized R here. If I go into Inspect, Section Analysis, I'll choose that front face, and then we'll pull it back. You can see it goes from an R to an A here, and then it goes to an L. So that's uh, R for uh, my first name, Russell, A for Alexander, and uh, second name, and uh, an L for my last name, Low. So um, uh, that's, how, that's how the different shapes were generated. And then uh, I'll cancel that. And you can see in the history tree here, or the timeline, sorry, uh, that what's happened is I've created that A sketch first, I then created a front plane and then another plane out the back there and then I created uh, the L second by the look of it. I uh, did this the other day and uh, then I created the stylized R at the front and then I used a loft feature to connect all three of them together and then I shelled it out to make a uh, an interior as well as an exterior form. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly go through the same process but I'll use uh, my co-convener Kate Dunn's uh, initials. So uh, let's start with a new design. New design, here we go. And uh, in this case, I will create those planes first. So construct and an offset plane. There's all sorts of planes you can create in uh, Fusion 360 that are useful for doing all sorts of different things. Let's create an offset plane. I'm going to offset it from, uh, this is the uh, right plane, I guess, by looking at the uh, looking at the view cube there. So click on that one, and then I can drag this out. I'm going to put it uh, at, say, let's, let's say 25 mils, um, and go OK. Now you can see from the last tutorial, I've actually changed my grid settings back to uh, one millimeter uh, because we're going to make something quite small and go OK and then uh, create another uh, offset plane. This will be the back one. Uh, so I won't be back. It'll be in that right uh, in that right sort of uh, zone. Uh, but I'll just take it back. Say oh, it's jumping. So minus 25 mils back. So now I've got 50 mils between here and here, uh, and I've got a, a plane right in the middle as well. So let's uh, do the first step, which is uh, create a sketch. You can see that I've got those two planes in my uh, timeline here. I'm going to choose uh, my first custom plane. Now, I didn't give those a name. I probably should have given them a name. It'd be a bit uh, easier to see. Uh, let's grab a line. I'm going to start on the origin point and I'm going to go up, say 25, across 25, and then I'll oh, look, see how it's snapping to the midpoint, which would be uh, what's that 12 and a half uh, degrees. I could specify a degree, but let's just say something like that. And then you can see it's finding that inference as well, which is good. Click here and click there. And there we go. I've got a stylized K for Kate. Finish that. Uh, sketch. And then now I'll do the middle one. So create a sketch. First thing it wants to know is what plane do you want to draw it on? So in the past, we've been drawing on the planes where objects have been existing. Uh, now I'm just drawing on virtual planes. I could draw on this one or this one or this one. But I'm going to draw on three uh, parallel planes. Uh, that'll make the loft work uh, easy. Uh, so the next letter is M. Uh, so grab that line again, 
Uh, let's sort of set it over here to begin with. Now let's see if I can get this right. I'll click here and then drag. And clicking and dragging, you can see from the uh, icon, gives me a tangent, uh, tangent line, a tangent curve, sorry, or arc from it uh, that's tangent to that line. That's the right way to say it. Uh, so click here, and then drag out again. Uh, I'll uh, hit escape to stop drawing that because I want to show you another way to draw a curve. Let's go create arc and I'll do the same thing but in two steps. Uh, tangent arc, click on that point there and then come over here somewhere. Let's see if I can, there he is, that's the line. I'll find that inference, drag this across, keeps it nice and neat and then go back to my line again. Uh, let's go, let's stick it up there like that. Okay, so we've got a, a stylized M, finish that sketch. So I've got a K and an M uh, for M's, uh, Kate's middle name, and then you can ask her what that is. And uh, the last one is D. So uh, I'll select this plane, but first I'll say create a sketch, create that plane, or select that plane there and a D. So uh, let's create a rectangle sort of, uh, let's call it sort of here, something like that. And then I'll create a center diameter circle. I'll find that center. It's sort of, yep, it's found the center. I'll come out to uh, intersect with that point there. And you can see it's intersecting with the uh, corresponding point at the bottom. And it's giving me the diameter as well of 25. So that's all making sense. So now I've got an overlapping circle and I've got a rectangle. If I go into the trim, I can get, oh, look at overlap there. So I'll just make sure I knock that bit off and knock that bit off and knock that bit off. And then it's a bit hard to see because you can see I've got three drawings over the top of each other. But if I uh, hold down shift in the middle mouse button, you can see I've got myself a D there. Now i uh, finish that sketch. Now if I uh, go back to that right view, look at this. You know, it'd be more interesting if this actually swooped up in the air a little bit. So why don't I uh, go back to that middle drawing. That was the one there. Uh, and then uh, right click on that and go edit sketch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it. So what do I want to modify? Here we go. Move. That's M for the hotkey. So click move. Uh, select, drag a selection set around the whole thing. Actually, I've selected everything. Let's cancel that. Uh, let's select everything just on that layer. Now I'll go to move. There we go. And I'll bring it up there like that. And I'll uh, rotate it a bit. Why not? Stick it there like that. Okay. And let's have a look at that. Okay. So that's, uh, so that's going to take the K, swoop it up into the air, around, transform it into a D, uh, into an M, sorry, and then come back down to the uh, to that sort of level again to, to transform it to a D. So let's do that. Uh, so create a loft. And uh, you can see I've got profiles here. I'll select that profile, and then I'll select that profile, then I'll select that profile. Let's have a look at it. It's pretty nice. Uh, you can have guides on here as well. So, uh, and a new body, that's fine. This gets a bit more sophisticated. So uh, we won't do that in here, but it gives you a lot of control about how it actually transforms from, transform, sorry, from one shape to another. Uh, very important if you're creating uh, very detailed products, you don't just want to leave these things up to chance. You want to actually create those things. A lot more control here. We don't need to do it just for what we're doing, uh, but keep it in mind. Uh, and then new body's good. And then just go, okay, and there it is. I've got uh, quite an interesting shape, quite beautiful curves happening from uh, pretty simple, uh, pretty simple sketches. So the next step is to uh, shell this thing out, uh, make an interior space as well. So let's go uh, modify and there's the shell. Uh, click now this is asking me faces or bodies to shell uh, I'm going to 
select that face there and I'm going to select that face there using uh, once again shift and the middle mouse to rotate it around and what that's going to do is uh, uh, remove those faces and shell the rest of it uh, otherwise we wouldn't be able to see inside um, so let's go I could have just taken one off but I prefer to make a tunnel uh, inside thickness uh, the defaults are, are like actually this is probably remembering from what I did before it had a default of like two millimeters uh, before and I changed it to 1.5 because I thought it looked better uh, let's just hit 2 and go I can't create a valid result okay let's try let's try 1.5 I wonder why I couldn't create a valid result Mm, probably because things got a bit tight somewhere. Let's modify that. So right click, edit the feature. Let's change that to two millimeters. More info. Let's have a look at why. Try adjusting the values or changing the inputs. Okay, so I think it's probably because it got a bit tight on one of these, on one of these, um, on one of these sort of angles here. Let's try doing a 5. Oh, okay, so it wants a thinner. Not really a particularly helpful um, dialogue, but let's go down to 1 mil. That's okay. So it must be something getting tight usually they, those are quite open uh, shapes so I wouldn't have expected them to, to have much trouble uh, let's try changing it to uh, edit the feature let's try changing it to 1.9 very interesting so at two millimeters it chokes Oh, you know what's happening? It's because it's taking off very steeply from here. That's what's doing it. So if I was to drop that, let's go back and drop the uh, drop that middle one down a bit. How would that work? Or maybe scale it down or rotate it flatter. Yeah, let's rotate it flatter because that's probably where my problem is. If I look at this, it's actually taking off quite steeply there. Um, so if it gets fat here it might self intersect um, interesting that two millimeters was the number so let's try uh, editing that sketch and I'm going to grab it all I'm going to go uh, M for modify and then I'm going to rotate it around like that and then bring it down a bit like that go OK and you see that's gone and updated the whole lot again Giving me another type of error. Let's have a look at the sh editing this. A 1.9. Let's go 1.5. That's okay. Let's go two millimeters. Still doesn't like it. Well, it's very, it's strange because it should go, be quite happy to, I would have thought about five millimeters until these parts sort of started intersecting. Um, so it's happy at one and small numbers. Oh, those are lovely shapes. Uh, let's try, what else could we try? Uh, let's try modifying that K. So that this point was sort of out here. Let's find that midpoint again. And then just go sort of like that. Finish the sketch. And then, so it's okay with... So okay with that, let's try editing the this. Let's chuck it out to 
three millimeters. Okay, so that's our that was our issue. It's, uh, it was just because those angles were a bit tight. Um, so you can see the process that I've gone through to uh, to sort of narrow this down uh, and thicken this up if that's what I wanted. So what could I do? I could now bring that sketch. Okay, it was the first one I did. Let's try editing that sketch. Let's bring that point. I wonder if I can select both of those at once. Ha, huh, turn it inside out. This is going to give me the same sort of problem again. Control Z. Uh, let's try some unusual stylized K. Finish the sketch. Let's see what happens. There it is. It's just gone through and updated the whole thing again. Let's quickly, I can't leave that like that. Let's quickly change the uh, this to say 1.5. Gives you a nicer sort of effect. And there you have it. So uh, a few issues that sort of popped up with uh, with shelling and the angles. Uh, and But that gave us a, an opportunity or gave me an opportunity to go through uh, and show you how I might try and sort of solve uh, those problems. You probably would expect to get similar sort of issues yourself, uh, but, but look to things like the transition between uh, different curves and the tightness of angles and the way maybe certain parts of the sketch would intersect if, uh, if you made the walls too thick, uh, those kinds of things. And, uh, and you'll be able to get yourself to a position where you've got a 3D curving object with uh, uh, beautiful curves based on uh, your own initials. Uh, so thanks for watching and, uh, and I hope you enjoy this part of uh, Fusion 360.